It's with great honor to introduce Jeremy Hunt today to our program. Jeremy Hunt has been the longest Secretary of Health of the United Kingdom ever and gave up the post to take on even greater responsibility for the UK. But during his tenure, he accomplished so much. He brought transparency to the NHS system, which is the beginning of understanding the problems and solving the problems, and has already paid numerous dividends. In addition, Secretary Hunt founded the Ministerial Patient Safety uh, Summit that has uh, been going on for the last four years, very successfully bringing the attention of world leaders to patient safety. We are blessed to have his strategic thinking, his care for humanity, and his incredible uh, presence and importance on the world stage to be focused on what we all care so much about, which is keeping patients safe. So without further ado, uh, Jeremy Hunt. Thank you. The World Health Organization say we have five preventable deaths every minute across the world, 2.6 million deaths every year. And why is it after 20 years of campaigning on this that we still have these terrible statistics? Well, the truth is that we need to change the law because when a tragedy happens in hospital, unlike in other fields of life, very often, sadly, someone dies. And then a defensive culture kicks in, which makes it impossible for doctors, nurses, midwives, other professionals to speak openly and honestly about what went wrong so that lessons can be learned. We have the lawyers, the regulators, the hospital authorities. Doctors are worried about being struck off the register, about being sued, about the reputation of their unit, their professional reputation. All these things crowd out the most important thing of all, which is to learn from what went wrong and make sure it never happens again. What is still missing, despite all this great academic effort, professional effort at healthcare industry, is really paying attention uh, and giving a lot of uh, credit and importance to the concept of safety culture. There are other industries like nuclear power, aviation, that they have had a lot of advances in safety culture, but I suggest that the healthcare industry, they should learn from that. In fact, this concept of safety culture or another one, human factors, these are cross-cutting issues. These different industries, they need to learn from each other and to apply that. Again, uh, unfortunately, this uh, uh, mindset of silos has uh, hindered the improvement of safety in several of these industries. I hope that one day all these industries, nuclear, medical, and uh, aviation, they come together and to come up with uh, some joint statement and joint uh, initiatives on safety culture improvement. For 20 years, the LeapFrog Group has published critical patient safety and quality data so that the public can have access to transparent information about the safety of their healthcare systems. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you Leah Binder, President and CEO of the LeapFrog Group. We are very proud to be part of the Unite for Safe Care movement today. This is so important to our country. Patient safety has been a problem for many years, and unfortunately, too often, it's treated with silence. People don't talk about the problem or we think it's maybe a secondary priority. It's a, it's a major priority. Experts suggest that as many as 500 people a day die from preventable errors and accidents in the healthcare system. Nobody wants this to happen and there are ways to make it stop. And it's so exciting to be working with 
doctors and nurses, as well as patients and advocates, and our own constituency of purchasers and employers who really care deeply and know that we can do better in this country. So it's just thrilled to work with, alongside all of our colleagues and friends to unite for safe care. Thank you. In 2013, we traveled as McKenna Lee and the Microfixers to the initial summit as musicians. We also participated in the summit and realized that we could leverage our rank and role in our respective healthcare institutions to support the initiatives of the patient safety movement. Subsequently, we became participants in steering committees and ultimately board positions as well as positions on steering committees and developed the app, the Patient Aider, which we donated to the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. So at the very first summit, um, one of the things that was a big uh, impact on me were the words that Joe Chiani um, used in one of his speeches, and that was about the little things that we do that can make a huge difference. Um, and about four years after that first summit, we decided as a band that we wanted to do something a little bit more impactful. We wanted to do something, you know, other than just pro providing music, we wanted to provide an actual song that would embody the spirit of the movement. And so, hearkening back to that first summit um, and those words that really inspired me, uh, we came up with a song called Little Things. And um, this song is basically meant to capture that whole spirit, that the whole spirit of how little things that we do can make a huge difference. to believe everything would be fine just lucky enough to be right there are times we leave all we know in the hands of an everyday hero and it won't take luck it won't take a miracle but the smallest thing
Change the little thing.